One, two, three, four. do that for an hour. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Chris Gethard Show. I'm your host, Chris Gethard. I want to thank everybody in our studio audience for being here. We do not have to do that again. Uh, we've got a great show for you guys tonight. We're very, very happy for everybody who joined in. I want to say hello to the people watching on MNN in Manhattan. We want to uh, say hi to everybody watching on our live stream. Please let everybody know they can go to the chrisgethardshow.com, watch live online right now. Uh, the first thing we want to address before we even get into anything else is uh, A.C. Newman was supposed to be our musical guest tonight. You guys know him from his solo albums, from his work with the New Pornographers. We were all really excited. Fortunately, Hurricane Irene fucked that one up. Uh, he had to reschedule. Um, so we are very apologetic about that, very sad. But he'll be back uh, shortly. Uh, wh before, why don't I go ahead and sit down and introduce everybody who's with us tonight. The first person i got to introduce, because time is of the essence, Mr. Phil Jackson on the end. Joining us the second time you've been on the yeah. show, right, Phil? <laughs> now, Phil... The reason I wanted to introduce you first is because, like I said, it's important. Um, since we don't have our musical guest, you were going to play accompaniment with AC tonight. Yeah. And you're here anyway. You have a, a saxophone with you. A saxophone, yeah. And you're still going to play. I'm still going to play. And we want to invite, if you are out there watching this show <laughs> and you have a musical instrument, and within the next like 40, 45 minutes, you can get to the MNN studios on 59th between 10th and 11th. <laughs> this show is going to end with every random musician in New York we can find showing up and playing. And then this whole crowd is going to dance. I think we alerted our crowd who emailed in to bring instruments. If you have an instrument, let's just play it now so people can know, get a sense of what they're dealing with. We've got a triangle, another triangle, a kazoo, a trumpet-shaped kazoo, a keyboard, a really weird a machine. That guy's playing a, a machine. Great. So great, so we already have a great band to work with. As you guys can see, we're gonna have a guy dressed as a penguin playing an omni chord, so we're good. Although we gotta find some place to plug that thing in, I, I guess. Extension cord. <laughs> penguin brought an extension cord. So, Phil, um, just so we can let people know, what are like the top three instruments you would like to show up tonight? Oh man, I mean, we've got a lot of things in the audience. Uh, we don't have a trumpet. We don't have a trumpet, do we? If we, got, if we got somebody to play trumpet, Ooh. get down. Timpani. Trumpet. Timpani. 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 We need some bongo, kind of percussion. Yeah, a bongo, like timpani per a bongo percussion percussionist. Yeah. If you are out there, you're watching this right now, you're in your house, you're a musician, you have an instrument handy, 59th between 10th and 11th, MNN. Tell them you're here for the Chris Gethard Show. It's live. Just jump in a cab. Get here now. We want to see a trickling. Uh, it doesn't even, we don't care if you're insane. <laughs> That's our whole thing. Come on out and play some music and we'll see how it goes. So, Phil. <laughs> It should be fun. It'll be fun or a disaster. That's Bethany, my assistant, chiming in. We have Shannon O'Neill here once again, a mainstay of the show. And uh, joining us joining us for the first time tonight, uh, an old friend of mine. Uh, not only is you're a DJ on Sirius Satellite Radio and a legend of the public access world, Mr. Jake Fogelness, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Long time MNN viewers probably recognize you from Squirt TV, your I, show I back was, in the day. I used to be cuter and littler. Oh, I think you're still very <laughs> cute and very little. Well, uh, I just want to say that, like, I, I imagine that Lou Reed might be watching. So, yo, if Lou, if Reed, Lou Reed shows up tonight, <laughs> like, you're, maybe you're in bed with Laurie Anderson and, like, it would be legendary. That is true. If you're a famous musician or a friend of one, if someone fucking nuts walks through that door That'd tonight... That would be really cool. It would be like 
first of all, people would blog about it tomorrow. But but it'd be like you know when the Beatles were, were, were like, uh, Lauren Michaels was like, I'll offer three thousand dollars to Beatles. Well, you know, Paul and John were watching, and they were like, maybe we should go down there, and then they didn't. You could fix that tonight. Yeah. Really come down. So if you're like, yo, like Bismarck is out there, yo, Bismarck is out there. Get down here, man. Not the key, ten, eleven. Ghostface killer, come over to Staten Island, man. Jumping in. We know you got an Escalade. Drive Boss fast. Gags. Yeah, yeah. Who else? Who else do we know lives in New York? Does Morris live in New York? No, Gene. Oh, Patty Smith, I think. Patty Smith. Patty. Oh man, let's get Patty people Smith. down here. Any musician at all? Oh, let's get down and here. Also, Daniel Radcliffe, just because I saw him yesterday. And I have a question. Was okay. he going to play his naked dick? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that was an expert. Daniel Radcliffe, come here and play your naked dick. We <laughs> gotta also have to introduce <laughs> the mysterious over. man from the sea. We don't know much about him, except he's figuring out this world. Jake, you are perhaps the earliest supporter of this guy. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the human fish. <laughs> human fish. Human fish. What's human he fish? thinking? He's writing human something fish. before he's supposed to. Human fish. Human fish. No, the word art. Human, human fish. fish, we have learned, communicates in dog language. So for those of you guys who don't know, the human fish, he's figuring out this world of men. He's always got something on his mind, these internal battles. Human fish, what's on your mind right now? Harry Nielsen versus Harry Belafonte. Harry Nielsen Ooh. versus Harry Belafonte. Who wins? Harry Nielsen. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, I would have yeah, gone no. Belafonte. I mean, nothing against Calypso, but Harry, Harry Nilsson's amazing. Sure, sure. I want to thank the LLC for playing us in. And I want to get our, uh, our, our uh, we should just get the contest started. And it relates to the person we all know, we all love, a lot of debate raging around this person. <laughs> Second show we ever had, she called up, she said, what is this show? We said, come on down. She's been a part of the show ever since. Random Jean, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We are having the Random Gene Trivia Contest tonight because a lot of people have been calling up saying, this is our 11th show. You've been on 10 of them, Random yeah. Gene. A lot of people. Jake Fogelnest, you called up yourself. You said, yeah. hey. She's not random Random anymore. Gene ain't so random. No. <laughs> so tonight what we're going to do, all of us on the panel, we have these markers and this paper. The way this is going to work, Random Gene is going to periodically ask us questions from her life. And we're going to have to answer them. And it's going to prove if Random Gene is random or not. So Gene, you've designed a bunch of questions. Uh -huh. That you say anyone who's a friend of yours would know about you. These are Definitely. things about your life that are visible. Your friends all know this stuff. So if you're not random, that must mean if we've hung out 10 times, that would mean we're friends. Yeah. This is a good litmus test, whether you're random or not. And here's what we're going to do, too. I got a bag of prizes. And uh, everybody on the panel should just pick an audience member that they're going to play for. And if we happen, there's no way we'll get any of these things. <laughs> <laughs> but if we do, your audience member wins a prize. So any, everybody should pick someone. Like who, I'll play for Walter. Who wants, okay, Shannon's playing for our only fan, Walter, who's in the house tonight. Welcome, Walter. I, I don't play for uh, Santa. Okay, Santa. Jake Fogelman, that's playing for Santa. Who else? Who else? Um, I'll play for the bunny. Okay, Bethany's playing for the bunny, who you did once you. beat in a, a dance battle on the previous and show. And he violated Ten. you. Okay. Yeah. Who else? Phil, who do you want to play with? Uh, uh, right here. Okay. Headband. Phil's headband. got headband. Human fish. You can only point towards someone who? Pajamas. Oh, pajamas. The girl in pajamas. Okay, who should I, who wants me to play for them? I'm going to, okay, right, yeah, right back there. You got your first hand up. Mimi, how are you? Okay, so let's do it. Before that, the number should be up on your screen. Call in. Let us know if you think Random Gene is still random. Let us know if you're a musician. And also, on Monday, I did a stand-up comedy set. And then a guy wrote a letter to the UCB theater and complained and said I scared him. Because I said I want anybody who's wearing flip-flops should die. And he said I scared him. And I got <laughs> reprimanded for saying that. So call in tonight. We also want to hear, what's the worst thing you ever got reprimanded for at your job? What's the worst your boss ever scolded you? What's the best way you ever quit a job? We want to know all that stuff. So call us up. We've got the topic on the table. We're looking for musicians. Let's also go ahead. Random Gene, first question, something someone should know about you. Well, I'll try to answer. Okay. Um, one, of, one of the questions is, name one of my favorite places to brunch in Manhattan. <laughs> one of Random G's oh. favorite places to brunch in Manhattan. Okay. 
I'm gonna go ahead and say there's a place on 7th Avenue. I've only walked past it. I think it has a funny name. It's called Nooch. <laughs> you know, I like to eat at that place, no, Nooch. No. Okay. Who else has an answer? I got an answer. Okay. Sarah Jessica Parker's fire escape. <laughs> okay, no, wrong. What else? It looks like the, the human fish just says the city. <laughs> Technically, That's too ambiguous. Too vague. Technically correct. You went the Cliff Clavin on Jeopardy route. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's too broad. Way too broad. Human fish. Who else? Bethany, your answer. Bagel Maven. Bagel Maven? No. no, okay. That's a plug. Phil. Uh, it's a place called Jane. Jane. Actually, that's one of my favorites. What? Oh, 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 oh. All right, you just want to your head That's on house that I love that place. All right, so Jake Fogelman has your answer, and then I cannot believe anyone got any. I right. actually disqualified myself from this because Jake Fogelman doesn't brunch. Jake. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. that's a You have to turn down your TV, caller. The first call got the awkward song. The very first call got the awkward song. And therefore, you got the awkward dance. Oh, hello? Yeah, all right. Oh, hi, hold on. I can't hear any of you guys. Yeah, because you got to turn down your TV. We already have been having this conversation with you. All right, thank you for the call. Thank you for trying. We're gonna have to move on. We gotta move on. Let's go ahead. Let's get to our next caller. Where do learn? Well, I mean, really, there's been Turn years the of, of this. <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's, uh, let's get one call in. Caller, you are on the Chris Gethard Show. All right, let's move on from the calls. We gotta figure out the call issue. In the meantime, very special oh, no. announcement. Get off the phone. <laughs> You only answer when it's obtrusive to answer. You never answer when I ask you to say I do. Okay. Very big announcement. There is a new character on the Chris Gethard show. He's making his debut right now. Big time stuff. I have always wanted there to be a mascot for the Chris Gethard show. It's a dream of mine. I, we got enough bullshit going on. Who has time to organize that? This guy emailed me. He said, my name is Gethy. I encapsulate the spirit of the Chris Gethard show. Want to come on your show, get your crowd riled up. I'll be your mascot. So ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, let's have a big round of applause for Get Me! Ready, get me go. Ready, get me go. Ready, get me go. Fun guy. <laughs> How you doing, Gethy? What the fuck? Whoa! 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 Whoa. 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 Oh my, my god! Fucking money. What's going on? Oh, you should you stop this! Man instantly killed the mascot of the Gethy show. He spit on him! He spit on him! We don't even know who Gethy is, let Wait, alone the man who killed? He murdered already? A man instantly stabbed Gethy. That happened so fast! Jesse, what did you do to that man? Why do you owe him money? Wait, did we already lose the mask? I think <laughs> Gethy's dead. Oh, why didn't anybody stop that guy? I'm so excited. Wait, well, that guy owns a that guy owns a bongo. That's how he got in here. He just came down. Lou Reed, if you come down here, please don't stab anyone. That happened so fast. Is Gethy just, dead? I don't know. He's moving a little bit. Kathy, are you alive? Can we clap him? <laughs> Gethy's clinging to life. He's whimpering. We should get some <laughs> Gethy CPR. I don't even know if calling a doctor would help. Yeah. Maybe if that rabbit fucks him in the ass. <laughs> if we can get the rabbit, would you be willing to do CPR on Gethy for the rest of the show? All right, the guy dressed as a rabbit is going to try to save the life of our mascot. All right. All right. Gethy almost fell through that stage and died. Let's no, go ahead. Yeah, like, don't get distracted by it, though. Random Gene trivia contest. <laughs> Next question, Random Gene. Phil Jackson is one for one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, what is, no, who is Gene's favorite British comedic trio? Comedic trio? Yeah. Who is a British comedic trio? <laughs> <laughs> British 
Irish comedic trio. It's pretty obvious. Yeah, the uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, when you got your answers, yell them out. Uh, the Mighty Boosh and then also Steve Coogan. <laughs> Actually, I do like them, but it's not the right answer. Okay. okay. Mighty Boosh is an answer to one of the questions. Let's, uh, right. Fish, let's get that answer up high so they can close up on it. Three guys from England. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Human Fish, you're going really way too broad, I think. Way too broad and vague with your answers. Uh, I have Abfab and Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> no. I'm going to say the Shaun of the Dead guys. No. Okay. So far, Jake's been the most accurate. The Chris Gethard show in the UK? <laughs> Doesn't exist. <laughs> I think that leaves us. Phil? Uh, no, I had the T more, yes. Three <laughs> <laughs> random words that you clearly wrote in a panic, one vaguely related to the I got scared, man. I got scared. The correct answer the correct is, answer. Yeah, the correct answer is Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant, and Carl Pilkins. Oh, I thought that you had a name. Oh, okay. Oh. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. All right. That's All right, fine. let's uh, go back to the callers. Let's get a call on the, uh, on the line. Welcome to the Chris Gethard Show. Caller, you are on the air. How can we help you? Hi, I, this is Rachel. Hi, um, Rachel. I really like your shirt. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it says, fuck Rutgers. I should have gone to Pace. Hey! Yeah, I go to Pace. I know a lot of kids from Pace have been coming to the show. I think you might be one of them, Rachel. I, I, I think I am. You actually. guys have been coming to the studio audience a lot and then supporting the show a lot on Twitter, so it makes me feel like I, I would have fit in a lot better at Pace than I did at shitty-ass Rutgers. I, I think so. I definitely think so. Okay, well, I'm glad you enjoyed the shout-out. How else can we help you tonight? Um, I want to say that I think Random Jean is still random. Wow, okay. Thank you. All right. That's good. She wants to be random. Yeah. She doesn't want familiarity. No, because she knows the second she's familiar, she's off Out of here. <laughs> she knows. She's got to maintain her mystique or else she's out of here. Uh, and Rachel, anything else tonight? Uh, not really, no. All no right. Bad job experiences? Yeah, what's, any bad job experiences you've ever had? Um, I, not really. I, my job is pretty boring. I don't... Okay. Fair. Fair. Is there well, a trash truck outside your window backing up? <laughs> Rachel, thanks for the call very much. Thank you for your support. We'll talk to you soon. Human Fish, what's on your mind right now? Uh, Christopher Reeves versus George Reeves in a wheelchair. Oh. Christopher Reeves versus George Reeves in a wheelchair. Who wins? Christopher Reeves. Christopher Reeves wins. Yeah. That's okay. good. Can I... Something? Yeah. Okay. You know he can't probably can't answer. No, I, know, I understand. <laughs> I just want to, uh, just in honor of, you know, Watch the Throne being a yes. big record right yes. now. Yes, Jay-Z and Kanye. That's my question. Jay-Z or Kanye? Wow. Mm -hmm. Jay-Z versus Kanye. Jay-Z. Yeah. Yeah. Immediate. Yeah. 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 Didn't even think about it. This guy's all I'm sorry. This fish guy's all right. I do like trying to sow the seeds of dissent yeah. in duos via the human fish. Yeah. I do think that's smart. Gethy is rolling over. Gethy. Oh, oh Gethy. Sign Gethy. Him up Gethy. The rabbit. Rabbit. Save Gethy. <laughs> this is just bizarre. <laughs> this is just bizarre. Human okay, fish. let's go ahead. We have a very special guest with us tonight. Uh, I don't know how much he wants me to say. But, uh, Rabbit, let's make some room because we have coming to the stage presidential candidate Connor Ratliff. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Connor, welcome back. Hello. Hello, America. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very excited and happy to be back here at the Chris Gethard Show. This week is a turning point in our campaign a crisis, a scandal can bring down a presidential candidate. Gary Hart was en route to the White House when a sex scandal ended his political career. But other candidates, such as Bill Clinton and Barack Obama, grew stronger through the way they handled these crises. The Conor Ratliff for President campaign is in the middle of just such a scandal this week. Please roll our latest ad. Mm. When I began my campaign for the presidency, I made a statement that at the time was entirely truthful. I am 35 years old. 35! That's how old I am! 35! That's how old I am! 35! That's how old I am! Several days ago, I experienced a birthday. I am now 36 years old. Many of you are disappointed by this 
But I ask you, what is the difference between 35 and 36? The difference is one. As in, hey, who won the presidency? Connor Ratliff did, and he's only 37. What's the difference between 35 and 37? Two, as in, too bad everybody else who was running. You lost. Connor Ratliff is president now. Maybe that sounds like a bunch of malarkey. Or like another politician making excuses. This campaign was never about who is or who isn't 35 years old. It's about me, and how I'm old enough to be president. My name is Connor Ratliff, and I'm 36 years old. That's, That's old enough to, to be president. president. Paid for by citizens for a president in his mid to late 30s. Because I'm old enough, but not too old. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I guess kind of time will tell if America chooses to trust you again. I still feel 35. And if I could have stayed 35 forever, I would have done it. I would have done it for the American people. But I live in the real world, not a dream world. And I want to really be the president. If you don't want to vote for me, I don't want your vote. But if you do want to vote for me, I do want your vote. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Connor Ratliff, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. A suggestion sure. that they, he should maybe get a new voiceover guy for the end of his uh, campaign yeah. commercials because it was really it was scary. He comes in, he's like, <laughs> and it, it sounded like like Tyler the Creator's therapist, yeah. which is just scary. And I don't know, it might turn people off. It's, it's gonna change. It's gonna be paid by paid by for the citizens of a 36 year old. I don't I don't care what the statement is. It's the voice that was frightening. It did was change. demonic. Did if change. you were paying attention, Random Gene, you would have heard that it changed. It did change, Random oh, Gene. Okay. Jesus. Christ, Random Gene. <laughs> Speaking of you, Random Gene, let's yeah. go ahead and let's get another question in okay. on the Random Gene Trivia Challenge. Before we do, I just want to reiterate, musicians, grab your instruments, jump in a cab, Boom. 59th between 10th and 11th, come down to our studio. We want random musicians playing music with our friend Phil at the end of the night. So please get down here if you're a musician. Come on down, set up. Let's get it going. So, Random Gene. Okay. The next question but in the Random Gene. But not Don Jean. Henley. If you're yeah. Don Henley <laughs> no. and you're in a cab, forget Nobody it. from the around. Eagles. Yeah. Nobody from the Eagles, man. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody from the Eagles. What other bands don't we want? Um, that's the way it is. Aerosmith. Yeah, that's Aerosmith, that's fine. stay out, man. Bruno Mars, just whatevs. Oh. That'd be, I don't want to yeah? see them. Yeah? I'll also go ahead and say Bruno three Mars, down, okay. Three doors down can stay oh, yeah. three doors away. Whoa! <laughs> Anybody else want to slam a band? Aerosmith. What's that? I'm okay. Aerosmith is the worst band in human history. I like Aerosmith. Aerosmith. I just don't Ugh. feel like seeing them tonight. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, Kesha's got to stay away. That girl's got to... No. Yo, she Kesha, should... Kesha makes hits, man. Yeah, she Kesha does. does make hits. She can come here whenever. And, in fact, I, she has an open invitation oh. in my life. Okay. <laughs> Kesha. Random Jean. Okay. Our next question. What female British model does Random Jean aspire to be like? Why well, saw it with all the British yeah. stuff? <laughs> I think she's an Anglophile. Yeah. <laughs> what British model do you aspire to be like? I'm gonna go ahead and say Twiggy. No. Yeah, that's a British model though, right? But it's, has, it's current, not like from Well, you didn't movies. fucking say that, Random Gene. <laughs> <laughs> you just said British model, Random Gene. I think I just got too angry at you. She's also, she's also a TV host. Well, now I already I, I, gave I, my I, answer. I know the answer. Okay. Is it Peaches Geldof? <laughs> no, but that's a pretty good guess, actually. It's a really good guess. Okay, human fish is an English McFemale. <laughs> trying. He's trying so hard to get slightly more specific. English McFemale. So apparently an Irish person whose first name is English. Uh, Incorrect, human fish. I have Kate Moss. Kate Moss. Mm. I have no. Asian uh, Naomi Campbell. A oh, <laughs> Asian Naomi Campbell. Yes or no? No. no. Phil. I also had Naomi Campbell. Naomi Campbell. Not a match. The correct answer is Alexa Chung. She's, she's not a model. Uh, is she a model? Yeah, she's British. She's a model. Is she a model? Oh yeah, she's British. Yeah, I think Santa had the right uh, response. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. But the, we don't have Alexa to like Chung. what we learn about random Jean. Right, it's just true. Right. She's <laughs> random. <laughs> we don't have to like a thing about what we're in tonight. It you're is right. just proof she is random. Yeah. yeah. So far we've got what? All British Six questions. people answering three questions. We've gone one for eighteen. <laughs> or no? Can I yeah, I did a that. Non-British right? question. Next yeah, time? let's avoid some British stuff next time, okay, Randy Jean. Sorry. In the meantime, let's get a caller on the line. <laughs> Gethy is dying behind me. Caller, you are on the air. Welcome to the Chris Gethard Show. Hello? Yeah, what's up? 
Hey, it's Joe. How's it going? It's good. How are you? Good. I have a question for the random fish. Or for the human fish. The human <laughs> fish. The random fish is the child they will someday have. <laughs> <laughs> What's your uh, what's your question? All right, uh, earthquakes versus hurricanes. Oh, great one! Recent New York recent experiences: earthquakes versus hurricanes. Hurricanes, hurricanes win. Wow. Hurricanes. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you, caller. <laughs> Thank you, caller. Hi, Joe. Caller, we have another caller on the line. Welcome to the Chris Gethard Show. How can we help you tonight? Caller, are you there? What's up? What's on your mind? Hi. Um, so I have to know uh, random Gene, and I was visiting New York City one day, and I was like, Gene, where do you want to go? And she's like, well, I've, I've lived here so long, I've practically been everywhere. Um, how about the Museum of Sex? Is this true? Gene, do you, can you verify that this happened? Do you know who this person is? Yeah, this is Stefan. He's my, um, mm. he's my good friend. So, Gene, you took a man named Stefan to the Museum of Sex. <laughs> yes, I did. Okay, I did. so, Stefan, what went down at the Museum of Sex with you and Landon Gene? Um, lots and lots of laughs. Lots and lots of learning. Mm. Lots and lots of watching Paris by watching adult <clears throat> videos. <laughs> so you spent the whole day just watching pornography in a museum with random Gene? Um, not the whole day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just like half a day. <laughs> Stefan, did you know any yeah. of the? Did you know any of the answers to any of these trivia questions? Yeah. Did you know the things? Have you been watching? Did you know what Gene was talking about tonight? Um. No, honestly. Wow. Sadly. Gene might be trying to give us some heavyweight questions to stay on the show. The next question you give us, make it a softball. Okay. okay. In fact, Stefan, why don't are you you can stay on the line right now. Are you still there? Yeah. Next question. <laughs> Random Gene's gonna ask. After we all answer, you give your answer. We'll see if you know it and it'll let us know how much Random Gene is trying to tweak this thing in her direction. Cool? <laughs> So stay right. on the line. Random Gene, what's the next question? Okay. Uh, last year, Random Jean spent the entire summer away from Manhattan. What city and state did she go to? Yay. Uh, oh. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> I know the state, Gene. But <laughs> I got to the... be the right city. I know. I got the wrong city. I think the city I'm going to say is going to piss you off, too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say Palo Alto, California. No, very close, though. But that one gets yeah, mad, it's, right? It's been, it's been pretty, it's really, okay. like, it's close. Okay. I said Facebook Town, California. <laughs> That's Palo Alto, That's actually. Palo Alto. Yeah. We had the same answer. <laughs> the human fish says USA, parentheses, America. <laughs> human fish, incorrect once again. Who else? Yeah, I just started to write Baltimore, but I only got the ba the bow part. <laughs> okay, so Phil, you freaked out. You panicked and, again. Yeah, you drew a cube, though. You did draw a really cool cube. Yeah. Okay, Jake, your answer. I wrote San Bernardino, California. Actually, San Bernardino is in Southern California, nowhere near Palo Alto. Ooh! <laughs> right! Random. Yeah, Jesus random. Gave it to you, Jake. This wasn't random uh, so Beth, geography trivia facts. Bethany, you are the last one. I just said Los Angeles. It's not. It's wherever right. Apple is. Yeah, it's in oh, Cupertino, Cupertino? Cal yeah, Cupertino. Cupertino, California. Yeah. I can only think of Facebook. But you hate Facebook. Yeah, I hate Facebook. Fuck Facebook. Yeah, I got an earful Facebook. about that before the show. <laughs> <laughs> Random Jean will. Anybody wants to hang out after the show? Random Jean will pull you aside and tell you a lot about how she doesn't like Facebook. So, Stefan, did you know the answer to that? I did know that she was in Cupertino. Oh, we answered okay. it before. Yeah, That's Random right. Jean, you're not trying to rook us. So, Stefan, thank you for the call. Thank you. Okay, we now know that Random Jean is a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do we have a caller on the line? Welcome to the Chris Gethard Show. Hello, are you there? Hello? Yeah, what's up? You're on the air. Hi, what's up? Not much, what's up with you? <laughs> Nothing, uh, I'm just... Doi doi! Was that really? That was the like. That was the extent of your phone call. Oh, this is a weird night with the calls. Let's move on to another one. Welcome to the Chris Gethard Show. <laughs> Caller, are you there? What's up? Hello. Yes, what's going on? Who's this? Chris, this is Rita. I'm, I'm oh, a hey, how's it going? I got to say, I'm really disappointed in the shirt, mate. You're disappointed in the show tonight. Which oh, shirt? The no, oh. the shirt. Oh, yes, oh, shirt. Shirt. you went to Rutgers as well. Did you like Rutgers? Yes. You enjoyed Rutgers? 
Yeah, I went to Rutgers. Yeah, I didn't like it. Oh, that's unfortunate. I, I just didn't get the... The fuck Rutgers is pretty serious, but... Yeah. I guess I'll let bygones be bygones. This being sort of a random gene show yeah. right now. Yeah. Can you just say bygones be bygones yeah. again? It you sounds can, cool when you say Your accent is awesome. I've got to say, I did phone in because Random Jean said she would do her English accent on the show if I called in. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, hi. How are you doing? Are you lovely? I, I have a question. What? You spent some serious time in, like, England, right? I got Probably, that because yeah. you've been talking about British stuff I really stop. like England. It's when you were lovely. in England... This is fucking weird, <laughs> did you Did you adapt a British accent, like, after when a while? You were were you there and, like, hanging out and all of a sudden you were British? I can actually put this on and off. I can be Yank, I can be British, yeah. like that. How long have you lived in England? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Hi, can do uh, that. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How was that accent, Rita? Was it a good accent or was it shit? No, that was not good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I lived in England. There was a lot of effort there. There was a lot of effort, but yeah, you know. Is it really, really shit? Keep watching those shows, yeah. You really <laughs> think it's shit? It's I'm really far as shy, really. Yeah, I do. <laughs> this is a weird fight. Yeah. <laughs> this is a weird <laughs> fight. Gene, sorry, I didn't mean to make you upset. I know you love being English. But... We have a person with a real British accent yelling at you about your fake British accent <laughs> that you're currently doing on public access TV. <laughs> and there's a guy dressed up like a penguin. Penguin. <laughs> All right, Rita, thank you so much for the call. We want to reiterate, musicians, get down here, grab your instruments, jump in a cab, 59th between 10th and 11th. We want you to play out our show tonight. In the meantime, caller, welcome to the show. You're on the Chris Kettler Show. How can we help you? Hey, how's it going? It's pretty good. I think I know who this is. Who? who? I think I know who you are. What do you have to say to us? Oh, I just wanted to say, first of all, I think Rick pretty damn hot. Uh, okay. I, out of the randomness and everything, I really like it. I'm really enjoying it. I, I didn't know she could talk in an accent like that, and it makes me even like it a little bit more now. What's wrong with the girl in the middle, though? Sour puss over there with the, with the sweater. Oh, oh Shannon? Yeah. Sour, what's all those? No, 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 the one with the sweater. No, no, see, yeah, you, you. <laughs> wait, wait, bottom row, bottom row or top row? I can't just, uh, on the bottom. Why can't you have a smile, bitch? Wow! Oh, this guy's saying Shannon, you look like you. Oh shit! Oh shit! Everybody back up! Everybody back up! Just want to see you smile, you know? What's up with the sour puss all the time? <laughs> <laughs> all right, God bless you, anyways. God bless you. You'll find your sunshine. Where are you, caller? Where are you from? I'm from Queens. No shit. <laughs> Shannon, li Shannon lives in Queens as well. <laughs> what is it? I'm not I'm interested in random Jean over there. I, I, I don't worry about her. Okay, so you yeah. got the hot to random jeans. Don't be, worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> you may be interested in random jeans, but Shannon's in your life now. I just want to see you smile and see that you got a more, you know, light side, but, you know, God bless you nonetheless. Come down here next week, whoever the fuck you are. <laughs> Father, if you want to come next week. Uh, I'll shoot Christopher an email, and perhaps I will. Yeah, <laughs> shoot him an email. <laughs> shoot Christopher an email. Christopher. <laughs> Thank you for the call. Great call. Thank you, Completely. Falco for calling. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for calling. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, each week uh, there's a, we have a, a collective of filmmakers and animators who take your suggestions on Twitter. You can send your suggestions to them. Tweet them at Lone Corn Meal. They take your suggestions. Each week they turn them into an animated short, short film, what have you. Uh, this week the suggestion was a very long day. Is that correct? A very long day. Let's go ahead and see what the lone cornmeal machine has come up with for us this week. Who knows what will happen? I haven't a clue. No one knows what will happen next. It all depends on you. Can't see round the corner when I'm going round the bend. No one knows what will happen or if this madness will ever end. All right, all right, here we go. Let's do this. I'm on a... 
This is it. I'm gonna set the world record for sitting in one spot for a whole day, not doing nothing, just looking out the window. Yeah, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. It's gonna be easy, and then I'll be a world record setter. Get my name in the paper on the internet. Yeah. Here I go. Easy. Whoa. Hey, Reggie. Hey, Reggie. 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 Ah, damn, man. Reggie didn't hear me. Could have got me some snacks. Something to eat. I don't know. Oh, man. This is boring. This is hard work. Sitting in one spot. Doing nothing. But I'm going to do it. When I'm done, people are going to be like, man, how'd you do that, Lenny? I'm going to be like, I just did it. I don't know. I guess I'm a, guess I'm special. Oh, man. Look at those trees. Trees, trees. Bees. Skis. I wonder how many words rhyme with trees. These. Sneeze. Please. Freeze. Cheese. Me's. He's. She's. Knees. Grease. Spleas. Me's. That's it. I guess that's all the words that rhyme with trees, I guess. Oh man, this is hard. This is a stupid idea. Why'd I do this? I didn't even get anyone to monitor me. This won't even count. Ah, I wasted my whole day off. Oh. Hey, look at that bird. Look at it go. Oh, what can we do? You can be Napoleon and I'll be a Waterloo. We'll be back to fight again someday. Till then, we'll just be on our way. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, the Long Corn Meal Machine. Send your suggestions to them. Tweet at Long Corn Meal. You can make it happen. In the meantime, let's go ahead. Random Gene, next question. Are you really random or not so far? Okay. Yes. Here's another one. Who is Random Gene's favorite fashion designer? Random Gene's <laughs> favorite fashion designer. <laughs> Diane von Furstenberg, DVF. Actually, it's pretty close, but it's not my number one. Okay. All right, mine's gonna be wrong then, because if it's not close to Diane von Furstenberg, it's probably not Betsy Johnson. No? Very, very close, but no, not it. Okay. No. Let's show some enthusiasm. I think I got, some it. I, think I got it. Mark, Mark Jacobs. Jacobs. I love Mark Jacobs, but he's not my favorite. I think. <laughs> You and Fish are out. Random fashion designer. No, 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 you and Fish. The whole point is to pick a specific one. Random versus specific. Who wins? No, specific. <laughs> specific. All right, who else has an answer? Uh, I got one. Gap Kids. Gap Kids. No. Okay. <laughs> Phil? Uh, Vera Wang. Vera Wang. Actually, the correct answer Wait, did Jake, did you answer? Yeah, I said oh, Betsy okay. Johnson. Yeah, the correct answer is Anna Sui. I don't know who she is. I do. Yeah. She... Which is cool. <laughs> know that. Random Gene, you remain random. Congratulations so far. So, caller, you are on the air. What's up? How can we help you? Hello? Hello? Yes. Hey, Chris, it's uh, Greg. Hey, what's up? This is my brother, everybody. How are you doing? Hey, I'm good, man. Hey, I just want to say uh, the first uh, 35 minutes of the show has been 35 of <laughs> the best minutes of my life. <laughs> well, thank you so much for saying that. What can we help you out with tonight? Well, I, ha I have a uh, story for the topic. Uh, you haven't had one yet. Uh, yeah, and that's it's it's okay. So, I yeah, we want work-related work yeah. mayhem stories. Let's keep it quick. Let's get it going. What's your story? Well, uh, I was uh, briefly uh, an after-school teacher when I lived in Boston, and um, my boss called me in one day to talk with me, and she revealed to me that I was fired, and uh, and and then I was like like trying to worm my way out of it, and then she said that, uh, you know, she said to me, "This is harder. This is so hard. That don't make this any harder than me." So I uh, I called her the c-word. And then I, um, I stood up and then I swept everything off of her desk into a big pile on the floor. And then she stared down on it and revealed to me and said, Greg, this isn't my desk. 
And and then I went outside, I stormed outside, and there were all these like nonprofit, like hippie type people there who were uh, yelling like, what, "What's going on?" And I started squeezing my nutsack repeatedly, like I was Eminem, telling them to suck it. I think. And then I had to go to the elevator and wait for the elevator, and it was on the ground floor, and I was on the twenty-first floor. Yeah. And the adrenaline rush quickly uh, runs away after you do that, and everyone stood around at me and started saying things to me like, you are crazy and should never be allowed around children. Yeah, I was going to say, all of your behavior validates their decision. Yeah. <laughs> Everything you do in that story validates the reasons you were fired. Oh, yeah, completely. It was, I mean, I'm not blaming them at all in retrospect. Yeah. I'm terrified of you, just in general, now. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, thanks for the call, Greg. Thank you very much. We'll talk to Fair you soon. Right? Yeah. What? Oh. oh, he said later. Okay, that's cool. Another caller, you're on the air. Welcome to the Chris Gethard Show. How can we help you? Hello? Yeah, who's this? Hi, this is Shadow Rose. Okay, what's going on? How can we help you tonight? <laughs> Hi, I, I just wanted to call in because I missed last week. And MC Chris was there. And I had a weird story to share. Um, it's a whole new week. Yeah, we'll let you get into it, but I, I, will, I promise you that... If, okay, what's the, what's the story? Well, I went to his show once, and he was standing up and planning autographs, so I waited in line. And then as he was walking away, like, in a hurried manner, he stepped on my toe, and, like, it broke really badly. Yeah. MC Chris and broke your toe. And I meet him, I had to run a check meet, and my coach now hates MC Chris. And he's expecting apology from him, which is okay. kind of weird. Are you trying to serve MC Chris with a subpoena for a lawsuit? <laughs> <laughs> we will let MC Chris know that he owes you an apology. I'll email him tonight. In fact, thank you for the call. Uh, we'll make oh, sure. I said thank you for the call. We'll make sure MC Chris knows. I'll, I'll email him tonight and tell him. Uh, what's well, I'm going to his show tomorrow, so I'm hoping to see him. So yeah, maybe what's, you your name? what's your name? What's your name? Sarah Rose. Okay. I'll email him tonight and tell him to apologize. He will to you. apologize. He'll yeah, he will. And where's the? I have my audio tomorrow. Sounds good. I'll email him tonight. Thank you for the call. I'll take care of that. Chris Gethardshill will get things done for you. <laughs> Thank you very much for the call. Another caller on the line. Caller, welcome to the Chris Gethard Show. How can we help you tonight? Hi, this is Alyssa. Hey, it's Alyssa. Hey, Checking in. Checking in with Alyssa. Check it in with Alyssa, Alyssa WhatsApp. So Alyssa's 15. She calls into the show. She lets us know what it's like being 15, asks us questions about comedy. Alyssa, what's on your mind tonight? Um, well, you were talking about Watch the Throne before. And yes. we haven't had, we just got power today, but we haven't had power for the past couple days. That shit so cray. That's all I've been listening to <laughs> on repeat. That's good. And Alyssa, before you, can before you even continue, can I just say, Shannon O'Neill. You want me to tell her to No! <laughs> if you say anything inappropriate to this girl tonight, we're, I'm going to be... At, look at me. I'm I, your, won't say anything, I won't say anything inappropriate to uh, her. Nothing about masturbation or... Gene! Gene! <laughs> I, if I was going to say, go ahead and flick Shannon, your bean... Shannon, I, I, Let me say uh, that on my own volition. Shannon, You don't stop. tell me that I can't say, flick that bean <laughs> to Alyssa. <laughs> Alyssa. Don't no. tell me, Gene, what I can and cannot do. You don't tell me. <laughs> Stop. Let so that be. <laughs> so Alyssa, how, how have you been enjoying Watch the Throne? What? How have you been enjoying Watch the Throne? Um, it's been great. I, it's, uh, it's so good. Oh, God. I'm a lot like Jay-Z, don't you think? <laughs> like uh, I think we're all a little like Jay-Z. But me more than other people. <laughs> so listen, you go back to school soon, huh? I was supposed to go tomorrow, but it's been, um, it was rescheduled. We're starting Tuesday. So do you hate, wow. like, every, when, it, when it's like the week that school's supposed to start, are you like, fuck this, man, this sucks? Yeah, I have so much AP work I still need to do. Oh, uh, I remember oh, that, man. bad stuff, yeah. I remember that. I'll tell you, one of the best things... I'll tell you some things. I'm 31 years old and I'm doing this, and it makes me very sad. <laughs> but one of the best things about th being 31 is I don't have to go to school. Yeah. It, yeah. Well, it's... here's the thing. I'm 32, and I didn't finish high school because I started doing a public access show out of my bedroom. So you could stop 
you know, go to school and do that. And then when you're 32, you could do a public access show with Chris Gethard. <laughs> That's the greatest idea I've ever heard. It's really don't do that. Advice. Alyssa, don't do that. <laughs> Alyssa, what AP classes do you have this semester? Um, I have AP Environmental Science, which is stupid. I took AP Flick That Bean. <laughs> Shannon! <laughs> Shannon! <laughs> Advanced Place That Bean! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Alyssa. <laughs> Yeah. Anything else on your mind tonight? Again, I am so sorry. As always, I am sorry. Your nervous laughter oh, it, it, it fills my soul with dread. I apologize. I'm fine. I'm always nervous. Okay. Anything else you want to talk about tonight? Because we got to move on. No, no, it's fine. Thank you so much for the call. Thanks. All right, Alyssa, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So, Random Gene, we got one more question from you, and then we got a swerve. We got a twist on this bit. We got a challenge for you. So, you give us one more question. Okay. Um, okay, what is Gene's favorite movie of 2011? Gene's favorite movie of 2011. It has to do with the water. Well, don't give clues after we all start writing. I'm going to say X-Men First Class. No. There's a lot of submarines in that movie. <laughs> Actually, that's right. What? Submarine. Well, there it goes back. <laughs> Wait, that was, is that, is that the name of a movie? Yeah, that's the name of the movie, it Submarine. Is. So it's not some weird sex video you made with Stefan. <laughs> <laughs> Human Fish says specific movie of 2011, parentheses, <laughs> water. <laughs> No, human That's fish. That's the closest. Repeat the question versus come up with an answer to the question. Who come wins? Come up with an answer to the question. Next time you do that, because what you did was repeat the question. <laughs> well timed side whistle. Perfectly timed side whistle from Hallie. Wow. Hallie. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Hallie just murdered that slide whistle. Anyone else? Answer. I we Okay. <laughs> Bethany just won a prize. Who was your Who was your studio audience member? Anyone else? Flick that bean. Shannon. <laughs> Phil, I'm assuming yours. Phil. Bean, bean down. <laughs> okay, so Bethany. I really. Who was your audience? Uh, yeah. What's that? Funny. Rabbit, you have won a prize. It's to be really good. Please you know come what? forward it's quickly. It's a fucking British movie. I just remembered. It's a British movie. Gene, just move to England. <laughs> So, Rabbit, you have won a prize via Bethany. Congratulations. So happy. Thank you for saving Gethy's life. Oh, look at this. You won a, uh, a, a stuffed bear. And you also have Parkinson's disease. <laughs> we just learned about you, Bunny. All right. Bunny's creepy. Thank you, Bunny. Yo, your new name is Muhammad Bunny Ali. Oh, oh. Muhammad Bunny Ali with the shakes. Thank you. You now have your own terrible. name. So, Gene. Bunny J. Fox. <laughs> it is fair to say, Gene, yeah. that you have proven that you are indeed random Gene. Jake, you brought up the issue. Will you now agree she is as random as ever, if not more so? She's fucking random, dude. Random for human <laughs> beings. So, Gene, you get to stay on the show. Yay. But here's another thing about you. Gene, we're bringing this up on the air. You have an ability to find out things about all of us. Oh, fuck yes. Our email addresses. <laughs> you found out the human, human fish's fish email address. address. <laughs> Just email him. Human fish told me off camera. He said, I don't know how Random G got my email address. <laughs> random G, or uh, human fish. True versus false. True. True. <laughs> Jake Fogelness, she called your house. She called my house. You put it on Twitter. Well, gra granted, my whole phone number <laughs> is on Twitter. And it, yes. It's 646-484-5323 for you. You call me. <laughs> But but you left a very long detailed message um, about how you had come to UCB when you yeah, were 13. I really liked it. And yes. I appreciate it. And it's good. I this is a good I thing was, about it. Was, it was a very, uh, but I did send Chris Guthard a thing saying, Random Gene left me a voicemail, and his response was, You're fucking kidding me. Yeah. Uh, but I said, No, it's very sweet and stuff, but it was, uh, you knew a lot. It you know like, a lot. You do your research. Just read my Wikipedia. So, Gene, you've, we've learned a lot about you tonight. Now we want to put this on the table over the coming weeks. The Random Gene Stalking Challenge. All of us on the panel are going to offer up a fact or a challenge to you. Find this out about us. We're going to see when you can do it. Okay. Future weeks, you come back, you let us know. Okay. The Random Gene Stalking Challenge. So I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna say this, and Random Gene, this, you know, uh, I know you watch the show, at, uh, you DVR it and stuff, right? Uh, so you no, can, I actually just watch it through. Okay, you watch it online, so you can reference it. I'm gonna challenge you to find out, what instrument did I play as a child? Mm. Okay. I know that answer. Okay, anyone else? What, fat, what, do, what do you want Random Gene to find out? What is my dead stepmother's name? What is Shannon's dead <laughs> stepmother's name? I don't want to have to pay to use You don't want to have search. to... You already know how challenge? you would do that. Okay, who else? Who else? Anybody else? What is my eighth grade girlfriend's name? Eighth grade girlfriend's name. Jake Fogelman. Oh, no. Okay, anybody else? Um, this is like... Oh, you, LLC, too, if you want to offer anything up. You're welcome to. No, what's no pressure. The, what's the worst injury? What's the worst injury Bethany's ever had? Name of the name of the church that I went to growing up. The name of the church <laughs> Phil Jackson went to. Human fish. <laughs> What's my <laughs> favorite <laughs> bread? <laughs> you gotta find out. She just gets Wonder Bread. Human fish. Right versus wrong. Right. Wow. <laughs> already won. Wow. Already won. So you already got one out of it. Anybody else want to offer up a fact or a challenge? You don't have to. What job did I have where my coworkers were fish? Okay. What job did I have where my coworkers were fish? Anybody else? I'm in the audience. Okay. Oh, what, what charges was I charged with when I was arrested? Jack, <laughs> what charges was Jackie charged with when she was arrested? Her last name so I can look through police records. That's part of it, Gene. Yeah. That's part of it. Anyone else? Okay. Jackie's out there. You... So the random yeah, they're Gene. Public. Mm -hmm. They're public. They're public they're record. Public domain. The human fish is just holding up a sign that says, don't kill me. <laughs> don't kill me. So, uh, all right, the stalking challenge is on the table. You got a lot of good challenges, Gene. Get to it in the coming weeks as you come up with this stuff. Let us know as you uh, reveal it. I'll okay? give you a second option. What? How many abortions have I had? Oh. 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 Roe versus Wade in 1973 actually protects that, so I can't legally go into your... Oh. Right? Uh. I bet you can find out. <laughs> no, probably can't. That's all confidential, thanks to HIPAA. You're very Jeez, you are. can't figure this out. <laughs> so scary. That's so scary. What's it for? That's scary. You're no, scary. unfortunately, I can't find out how many abortions strangers have had. <laughs> Thanks, HIPAA. All right, so Random Gene, we look forward in the coming weeks to your results. So, Noah, what are we going to? Calls or Phil? Yeah. All right. Is it time? Yeah. Total failure. Our, our, our challenge Nobody to me is this, from what I understand, <gasps> Zero people Fuck to commit. Fuck you, Lou Reed. <laughs> Is that true? Am I correct in that, Noah? Zero people. Zero up. musicians oh. have showed up. I thought most deaf was gonna walk. Oh, dude. I thought most deaf. Yeah. 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 Fucking yeah. most deaf like, and Talib Kweli just rolled in. Black star just come through. Oh. Tearing down. Most deaf really let us down tonight. So Phil, this means that you will right now be leading a band that consists right. of you on a saxophone. Yeah. A keyboard, a couple triangle players, a kazoo, and whatever this thing is. Okay, if we can even board. plug it in in time. Board. Is anybody beatbox? Anybody beatbox? Uh, okay, we got a singer. Sing. Yeah, All right, Phil, lead the charge. Grab the people you want. Let's go. If you play an instrument, let's get going. This is how we end the show. So if the beat hits you and you want to get up and dance, let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, Phil Augusta Jackson presents the Public Access Players. <laughs> What is about? Oh, we got another saxophone. Yeah, we got two okay, that's good. Uh, we got a little, what's that, an Irish whistle? A tin whistle? Okay, we got an Irishman with a tin whistle. We got a guitar? Phil, we might be able to pull this off, man. Yeah, I think we're going to be good. What are you looking for? Anybody beatbox? I can kind of beatbox. Get up there. Matt Mayer can kind of beatbox. Okay, let's see what we can do. Lead the charge, Phil. Can everybody stand like this?